Yo, what up, guys? I'm Sammy, and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And today we're gonna be talking about the best budget hoop shoes that you can get right now. And the cutoff is 120 bucks, but I feel like recently I have to bump it up $10 for like inflation. You know, maybe bump it up to 130 bucks because everything is increasing in price, guys. And yeah, there's not a whole lot of super cheap shoes nowadays. You know what I mean? I mean, there are, but you know, everything's increasing in price. So uh, yeah, everything you know, rent, food. So um, yeah, if you guys do want to cop any of these shoes, I try to leave the feel link in the description box. And of course, I know like some people are gonna say 120 bucks is a little too expensive for budget shoes, but there are shoes that are a little bit less than that. So you guys don't want the $120 shoe and it's a little bit expensive, I just don't get it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, let's get it started right off with the 361 degrees AG4 and I'm, I played in it, you know, I'm pretty much done reviewing it and I'm freaking loving playing in that shoe. For a hundred bucks, the tech is actually pretty insane. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, the traction is freaking phenomenal. It has pretty much top tier traction. And then uh, the cushion also is phenomenal. You know what I mean? I love what they did with the soft mesh strobe board. That's what improves the cushioning a lot for me. Uh, it's super duper soft. There's a lot of compression. It might be a little too soft for some people, but for me, it's very, very nice, right? Uh, also the material, uh, it's lightweight chew, right? It's a minimal upper support was adequate for me. So the AG4, amazing performer, and it's only a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. And also there's some really dope colorways. So like, there's like this Bruce Lee colorway, like it's all, it's all yellow with some red. Uh, so yeah, AG4, I, I couldn't recommend uh, enough to you guys. It is a really, really nice shoe. All right, next we got also a, a Kobe-esque shoe, like a Kobe shoe. It plays like a Kobe, but also not for the crazy expensive price. You know, Kobe's used to be used to be very expensive, and also all the other shoes that play like Kobe's are pretty expensive. But we got the Way of Weight 8083. It's only 120 bucks, and it performed extremely well. Has top tier traction, of course, and also the drop midsole feels nice. Just watch out for hard impacts. Material is thin. It's very very supportive as well. Uh, and I enjoy playing. It plays, like I said, like the old school Kobe's, like the Kobe 8, Kobe 9, also the Kobe 11. Uh, and also it's a dope looking shoe and there's some really dope colorways available. So yeah, 8083, very, very nice. Next, we got the 8082 and it is on sale on wayofwade.com. So that's why I'm, uh, well, I just checked, right? And that's why I'm putting it on this list. And it's available for like 90 to 100 bucks, depending on the colorway. Uh, and I think that's a pretty great deal, right? So if you guys do want to save a lot of money because the 8083 and the 8082 perform very similarly, you know? So uh, yeah, if you guys do want to save a little bit more money, then definitely go ahead and check out the 8082. But of course, amazing top tier traction. The cushion, of course, is still pretty damn nice with the drop in midsole. Stepping cover is really good because your foot is right on top of the foam. Amazing support. Uh, overall, upper does feel pretty minimal. However, it does feel a little clunky in the heel, and but for the most part, it's an amazing, amazing performer. Uh, next, we got the Adidas Tray Unlimited, which is going for 95 bucks. You know, Tray Unlimited, terrible looking shoe. Uh, that's probably why I don't think a lot of people <laughs> will get it, but overall performance is pretty nice. You know, traction is, it's not top tier, but it's solid, you know, gets the job done. Cushion, cushion is definitely my favorite part about that shoe. You know, got full length bounce, has nice compression, it's soft, but also a little bit of rebound back, which is nice, especially for a budget shoe, right? For budget shoes, companies usually, you know, obviously they cut back on the tech and the first thing that they cut back on is the cushion. You know, once they go up in price, they give us the best tech, best cushion. But for budget shoes, they kind of lack in the cushioning department, right? But the Tray Unlimited with the full length bounce is nice. It's like the softer version of bounce. Uh, material, I mean, it's not the best for support, but it was pretty adequate for me. I, it got the job done. It was pretty good for me, um, but not the best for support. So be careful on that. But for the most part, it is a pretty damn good performer. Uh, and 95 bucks is pretty, pretty much one of the cheapest shoes on this list. So yeah. Tray Unlimited. Next, of course, we got the Nike John 1, which is one of my favorite shoes to play in so far, right, this year, because uh, it just feels really, it, it does everything very well, right? It feels supportive, but also lightweight and minimal, you know what I mean? Very, very weird. But the traction is top tier, one of the best tractions of this year. Cushion also, I really like. We have a top loaded zoom in in the forefoot. And then in the heel, we actually have a soft foam. There's nice compression, which feels nice. Support is great. Like I said, it's lightweight. It doesn't look lightweight, but it's lightweight, you know? And also, it's pretty cozy. Uh, in the back of the shoe, right? If for the foam in the in the ankle area, and also for the tongue, we have it feels nice. You know, it's, it's it's foamy, but in the forefoot, it feels more on the minimal side of things, right? So jaw one, freaking amazing. I really like playing in that shoe. Uh, next, we got the Jordan Tatum one for 120 dollars, 120 bucks. Uh, I really like playing in that shoe. The only thing, well, there's two things which I think you guys should 
be careful on, right? So there are, I guess, three things. So durability, that shoe does not seem like it'll be very durable. The upper and also the outsole. Also, it does pick up a little bit more dust than all these other shoes, right? For traction and also support. It doesn't feel like the most supportive shoe. Like for me, it was adequate, but I don't need that much support. But if you need a little bit more support, then probably stay away from the Tatum one. But it's still a very nice performer. I really like the traction on a clean court. Also, I really like the cushioning setup, right? The forefoot zoom in, it's very bouncy. The heel foam is very, very soft. It's a very, very lightweight shoe as well. So the overall performance is nice, but there are some uh, cons to the shoe, right? All right, next we got the Nike Giannis Immortality 3 for $85. And it's a pretty cheap shoe and I really like it so far. It's a super snug fit though. It's a very, very narrow, very snug fitting shoe, which I definitely do notice. But the traction overall is pretty nice, you know? And also the cushion is lacking, but if you're looking for something low to the ground and also like pretty okay impact protection, that's also a very uh, nice shoe. A very minimal feeling upper. So if you want to save a lot of money, then uh, go with the Immortality 3. I would say uh, if you want a little bit more cushion, however, go with the Trail Unlimited, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, Immortality 3, it's overall pretty nice. It reminds me of the original Giannis Immortality, which I do like, right? All right, next we got the Nike Precision 6, which has been out for the past, I don't know, it feels like it's been forever, you know? And it's on sale for 60 bucks. So overall, very good performance shoe if you want something very minimal and responsive, right? Um, and there's some really dope colors. I really, really like how the shoe looks. The traction overall is very solid. The cushion is lagging, however, you know? There is a little bit of compression and stuff like that, but overall, if you're looking for, you know, impact protection, comfort, uh, step in comfort, uh, yeah, the Precision 6 is not good. Uh, so <laughs> if you want good cushion, stay away from the shoe, right? But has really good support. Also, I really like kind of like that textile mesh material that they got going on. It's minimal, it's thin, which is weird because the support is also really good, right? So uh, yeah, Precision 6 if you, is, is pretty much the cheapest shoe on this list. And if you don't care about cushion, then definitely go ahead and check the shoe out. And next we got the Anti Shockwave 5, which is Kyrie's shoe. You know, so it's going for like a hundred bucks on kickscrew.com. It depends on the colorway, which is, you know, it makes sense for kickscrew. Um, but yeah, it's around 90 to a hundred bucks, 110 bucks around there. And the Shockwave 5 is really nice. You know, the traction is really, really good. Pretty much top tier traction. Also the cushion is really nice. We have a softer type of strobe board. So step in comfort is nice. Core feel is really good. Yeah, you know, it has amazing freaking core feel right on top of the ground, uh, but also impact protection is pretty adequate. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a very responsive feeling shoe. And also the upper feel is pretty nice as well. It's, it's thin, it conforms your foot pretty well. Support is really good. And yeah, it's just a really nice shoe that you can feel very, very quick in. I, I would recommend it to most guards. And the Shockwave 5 does cushion really well for the price. And also the, the AG4, you know what I mean? Uh, which I think Chinese companies do very, very well. They give us really good cushion for the price. Uh, but, you know, like US companies like Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, they don't really do that. So uh, I do like how they gave us, you know, pretty much full length and two foam, right? So uh, there's that. Next, we got the All Pro Nitro, which is 130 bucks. So these, I got two shoes that are a little bit more expensive, but are very, very good performers if you guys want to go over the budget a little bit, right? So All Pro Nitro, 130 bucks, one of the best performing shoes in my personal opinion opinion like that you can get right now and also from Puma. So the traction is freaking phenomenal. The cushion also is really nice. You know, it's soft. There's a good amount of compression in the heel. Impact protection is good, but also you, it's responsive and you have good core feel, right? Upper, very, very nice because it's super duper thin and also very supportive. It conforms to my foot very well. Uh, so yeah, 130 bucks, $10 more than 120 bucks, of course. And uh, you get really, really nice performance. And uh, add $5 to that, add $5, and you get the Son of Flash, you know what I mean? Obviously, I would say, you know, if you do want to save money, then get just get the 808.3 or the 808.2. But if you want to go a different route, you know, and also get a really amazing, like, good-looking shoe, then get the Son of Flash for 135 bucks. You know, traction is top tier. Cushion also is nice. We have targeted boom pods in the forefoot and heel. Uh, it's not, obviously, not as nice as full-length boom found in, like, the AC11, the Wild 10. But it's still a pretty nice, responsive cushion cushioning setup supportive so yeah the sun of flash is a really good option as well uh, but anyways that about concludes my list of best budget shoes that you can get right now but my top or i guess like the picks that i think that you get the most value for the price are i guess are like the shockwave 5 and also the 8083 and also the ag4 you know what I mean? Like the 803, you get a drop in mid. So AG4, you get the amazing cushion also for uh, the Shockwave 5, right? Uh, but anyways, that about concludes my list uh, of best budget shoes that you can get right now. Again, if you guys do want to cop any of these shoes, I try to leave them feeling in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.